so today we're going to be installing Linux on this uh, MacBook Pro. I think a lot of Linux will be supporting this hardware, so I have to go to their website. My choice of Linux now for this machine is Linux Mint here, and you have to check which version would appropriate to this hardware. So I chose uh, Cinnamon, and it will take some time before I completely download it and it'll give you a ISO version of the file. It'll take uh, so much time depending on the speed of your internet connection and um, your machine itself. So let's see. So once you have completed um, downloading the software, you need to have uh, an ISO version uh, CD because you have to extract the ISO file to the CD so that it will be ready to install on your machine. Uh, there are tools that you need to use for this. Uh, in this case, I have used an ISO, Power ISO software. You can go to the link below so you can download it. But if you have pre-installed uh, software on your Windows operating system that can burn a bootable CD, you can do that as well as long as it can extract the ISO to make your CD as bootable as possible. So in my case, um, I've used a Linux uh, Mint. So with this power ISO, you just have to click burn and it'll give you some selections. The file uh, you downloaded a while ago as an image software, I also also image software, so you'll see the app. I chose it here and then you have to select it as Linux means and then just click burn. And, um, Apple, you have to press the, as soon as you insert the CD and boot your machine. You have to uh, press the option, this is the key of for option, which is uh, Alt. You have to hold Alt until uh, CD option. So you have to boot onto the CD so it will load up the, the options for the CD. And the CD will guide you to the entire process of installation. And then, and then once it's installed, uh, it will ask you to eject. So here, I will choose uh, Cinnamon 64-bit and I'll cho I should choose English for the language and the keyboard setting as well. This includes installation of media codecs. I have to click continue on this part. And then by the bolt, you can easily choose erase disk installation. Make sure you don't have any files in your hard disk, otherwise it will be wiped out completely. So I to click install. Our, my original settings the time then I have to specify your name computer name and it's important that you put a strong password just because of this testing I chose a weak password but for your safety for your own use you have to put a strong password so these are features to tell you some of the features of Linux Mint during the process of installation So now it is complete installation, then you have to restart the machine. So voila, see? So here you need to remove the CD on the drive so that it will boot directly on your hard disk to load the operating system. And then you need to connect to the internet using the LAN cable. There you go.
didn't get any problems except for the first boot that I don't see any Wi-Fi I mean connections so I had to use uh, the cable network so that I could be able to connect to the network and from there you just have to run software management to update all the drivers as soon as I installed the LAN driver and I started the machine it uh, automatically detects the Wi-Fi available on my location so I just had to connect it and run a few more updates and including the software update and this one I'm running Cinnamon 21.2 and uh, it looks good and it's stable and didn't get any problems except for the first few uh, restart because of it's a fresh new installation and you have to run all of the updates required including the drivers and security updates on this uh, software so do you have it guys it's stable there's a lot of options you can find out there after this uh, blog probably I'll try some more uh, I mean software and then I'll see which one is really compatible with this one so don't troll let's say the environment like and subscribe if you like this video and I will be uploading more videos in the coming days yes. alright so there you have it thanks for watching and we'll see you soon Bye.